How's it going? I'm Scott Helen, and this is my second punk rock show and tell record collection video. Uh, I'm going to get to it. I got a good amount of records, maybe not as many as a 7 inch video. I'm going to start things off with one of the best records ever made. This is the first record I ever bought Ramones, Rocket to Russia. Amazing record. These guys are great songwriters. Uh, Cretan Hop. I don't care. She is, she is the punk rocker. We're a happy family. Wow. Um, I wrote my first song um, kind of based on the song I Don't Care by the Ramones. That's kind of where I got some songwriting ideas and stuff. Um, it says right in there. Right there. I don't know if you can see it in pencil. I used to write on all my records when I bought them. I think it was a, my dad probably mentioned, hey, you should document this stuff because he always used to archive and dark and uh, document everything so I thought that was a cool idea and I did it and it says purchase April 5th 1980 price 594 classic record and awesome artwork by the artist John Holstrom too of that black and white pen and ink drawings another record Ramones first record <sighs> beat on the brat leave home This record is called At Your Birthday Party with the Ramones. This is some bootleg thing I bought. That would have been fun at 12 years old, right? Or now. Great live record, Ramones, It's Alive, double album. Another great drawing by John Holstrom for the cover of this Road to Ruin record, Ramones. Uh, this came out in 1978, I think. 78, yep. Um, I, want, I just want to have something to do. I want to be sedated, bad brain. This record was actually the first music I heard by the Ramones. I heard it on the radio. Uh, I heard the song, Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio? You know, at the time, uh, whatever was on the radio, Jay's Giles, The Doors. Uh, and then I heard this stuff and the other stuff. <laughs> Get it out of here. It just blew my mind. It was great. Pleasant Dreams. I have two versions of this. Must have really liked the record. Um, we Want the Airwaves. This one's made in Portugal. Uh, Sire Records. Another great Ramones record. Great songwriting on there too. Subterranean Dreams. Ah, oh, Subterranean Dreams, Subterranean Jungle. Can't even get it right. A little bit of soul. Yeah. Ramones, Too Tough to Die. One of the great songs on this record was by Dee Dee. And he wrote a lot of their songs, but Lord, what Dog. Animal Boy, Halfway to Sanity. Could be called halfway to insanity. Okay, so they're Ramones records. Uh, then I kind of go into uh, I'll go into some of the hardcore punk stuff. Why? 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 <laughs> Discharge. I remember Lou singing this like in the car or in rehearsal or somewhere. Lou Barlow. And um, yeah, really funny. Why? 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 Uh, yeah, great record. This record blew my mind and probably another reason why I wanted to play music. Basically, the Ramones made me want to play music, but um, this record, I would uh, come home from school, take the bus, you know, I'd get off, the bus would go back up the street, and I'd go in there and crank this record to my parents' stereo. Speakers were bleeding, and the bus would come by the street, and I just had this so loud, I just wanted people to hear it, to be like, oh, you people! It really helped, this Discharge record, immensely. <laughs> helped me get through high school. Another Discharge record, warning, in defense of our future, Cool artwork, cool drawing, Margaret on the cover there. Broken Bones, Discharge spin-off with the guitar player. Partisans, classic English band, Antipasti. I think uh, Jay Mascus turned me on to this, this uh, record, this band. No government. Uh, really good, amazing. Uh, Blitz, I talked a lot about them in the 7-inch uh, singles video I did. Um, this is another great record, Time Bomb, Voice of a Generation. The Exploited, oh, there it is. Cockney Rejects, greatest hits, some really good stuff on there, good songwriters, UK Subs, Diminished Responsibility, very uh, interesting art on there, a lot of art, man. what is this, another kind of blues, the blue record, it's kind of like Joni Mitchell's record, blue, right, kinda, not really, right. UK Subs, Brand New Age, a lot of these bands were using New Age. I remember DOA had a song, something New Age. Oh, I don't know. Should have been on Wyndham Hill or something. UK Subs Live. This is a great record. It says right in the thing, this album is offensive. Let's see when I bought it. May 22nd, 1982 at Faces in Northampton, Massachusetts. 
The Verrukers, we played with these guys, I believe, in Lupo's Heartbreak Hotel, Rhode Island, in the 80s or 84, something like that. We go to GBH, another band with their hair sticking up like that all over the place. Leather, bristles, studs, and acne. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Clay Records. This is a great classic first record. City Baby Attacked by Rats. Let's see when I bought this record. What does it say? Oh, I didn't write it here. Wow, slacking off. Hmm. What a bum. Let's see if I can put it back in. Is it in here? Nope. It's weird. All right. Next one, City Baby's Revenge. Another GBH record. Another GBH record. Funny cover. Uh, Midnight Madness and Beyond. More GBH. I liked GBH back then. Ah, DOA. Joey Shithead. Classic Canadian band. Good songs. Yeah, this is a record. New Age. <laughs> Some Wyndham Hill stuff going on there. All right. Um, DOA, Hardcore 81. Communication Breakdown. Slumlord. I don't give a shit. That's a great record. DOA, Warren 45. Let's see if there's a date on here. Yep, December 14th, 1982. Repent, you fucking savages! Uh, Germs, really great uh, LA punk band. Pat Smear, no. Foo Fighters now, I think. Uh, played in this band. Of course, Darby Crash. Um, what We Do Is Secret. Lexicon Devil. Uh, really good, really good songs. Circle Jerks, Group Sex. Uh, this was, to me, one of the best records, punk records of the 80s. I think it's just great, really fun songs. The whole record is like, I don't know, 12 songs, and about 18 minutes long. Uh, ta da, everything! I just want some gang! <laughs> really funny songs, really good. Uh, Red Tape, last song. Great punk rock drumming on there. That's an amazing drummer. Wild in the Streets, not as good, but there's still, still some good songs on there. Classic band. Black Flag, Jealous Again. This is one of the first records my brother or I, one of us bought it first. He might have bought it first. Um, this kind of blew us away. It was the first record, you know, the, the artwork by um, Raymond Pettibone, which is like wild and like, I've never seen anything like it before. And we, we didn't, it, it's a 12 inch, but I think it's a, a 45, but of course we put it in the record player at 33. So the songs were like, no, jealous again. It was really like, whoa. we were just like, oh my God, these guys sound insane. And we listened to that for like a week until we figured out it had to be at 45 RPM. And of course, yo, jealous again. Um, so that was good too. But the beginning was like, this is amazing. Like Jersey Sabbath sludge punk. Um, <laughs> a great record. Uh, more Black Flag, the classic Raymond Pettibone Flyers in the back there. Everyone went, went black. Damage, another amazing 80s record. Great songwriting on here, too. Yeah, this is Gimme, Gimme, Gimme! Um, probably Henry, yeah, Henry Rollins' first record with them, except for maybe a single or something. Awesome. Now, this record, some people hate it, some people love it. I love it. I thought this was really original. Uh, again, good songwriting, cool arrangements. Uh, the drummer Spit Sticks. He did some just really cool beats and there's some cool guitar sounds, very different, not your typical like punk rock kind of thing. Um, Leaving's a great singer. I love that record. Fear More Beer. The Minutemen, amazing band. Mike Watt, D Boone. Um, let's see when I got this record. Minutemen, December 25th, 1983. Hopefully you can see this, the, there's not too much glare on the record. Just heard an interview with Mike Watt on uh, WTF, Mark Marin. Great, super cool guy. Um, very creative. Agent Orange. I thought I had a couple Agent Orange records. Hmm, it's the only one there. All right, kind of surf man. The Stains, LA Band on SST. TSOL, I really like this record. This is probably my favorite record by them. Uh, I just love the way the, the the recording sounds. The bass had this probably a Fender Precision. Actually, I don't know. But uh, the way the hi-hat sounds, that sizzle, just, I thought it sounded really good and really catchy songs. TSOL, Dance With Me, another good record. Descendants, everybody loves this record. Who doesn't love this record? Great cover, classic art. Unbelievable. Angry Samoans, I think... Uh, yeah, this was a great record too. Right side of my mind, really funny. Anger Simone's another record by these guys. Guest Chamber, Todd Killings. They say for this cock. Pretty funny. 
Very funny band. Good songs. Channel 3. California band. This is probably my favorite Channel 3 record with Manzanar and Mannequin on it. On the Posh Boy label. Let's see if it says when I bought this. Channel 3. 316.84. Really good record. Adolescence. But that Adolescence record doesn't hold up to this one. This is the classic uh, 1981 Frontier Records. Amoeba. No way. Bad Religions, How Could Hell Be Any Worse? Ah, I don't know. China White, Danger Zone, the Southern California band. Suicidal Tendencies, Just One Pepsi, that's a great record. Shattered Faith, I really like the uh, singles by Shattered Faith. I talked a little bit about them in my 7-inch singles video. It's a good record too. I don't really remember that as much. This band, Crucifix, I love this band. Outpatients and probably Deep Wound played with these guys in Greenfield at the Grange Hall in Massachusetts. Um, really good. Almost kind of like the Discharge style, maybe. They had their own thing. Great band. I love that record. The Time of Saints, another band we played with. This one, we, we did a tour with them in 1984. I love the cover on here. I love that black and white uh, pen and ink style drawing. That's the same kind of artwork I do myself. And that was definitely an influence on uh, me, too. The art, not only the music. Another cool cover, Battalion Saints, Second Coming. Social Distortion, this is a great record. Mommy's Little Monster. Um, yeah, I always thought Mike Ness was a good songwriter, too. He had cool songs, and he's kind of cool character. Uh, I like that band. Love that band. Pariah, Seven Seconds. Great band, Kevin Seconds. Uh, though I think I probably listened to singles more uh, by them. Uh, LA's Wasted Youth. Uh, great photography. Great photo on the back. Has like a classic hardcore show picture. Guy diving in the audience. Aggression. Bad Brains. Destroy Babylon. I thought I had more records, but maybe they're in there somewhere. Um, great record. Discord. The Faith. Void record. I love this artwork too. The pen and ink artwork. I used to order lots of records from Discord and get like personal notes from, I don't know if it was Lyle Presser, it might have been Ian, I don't know, but you know, it was awesome. Something to Change, the Faith record, another great classic for, you know photograph. I remember it was Phil in the Flash, I think, from Boston. I used to do great pictures. I don't know who took this one, this was probably in DC, but just really capturing the moment like, you know, some photographers can do. Just capturing that energy and that... It's not just taking a picture, it's capturing that thing. What can I say about Minor Threat? That isn't good. Nothing. They're, oh, wait, wait, wait. They're, they're, it's a great a great record. I only have, yeah, I had lots of seven inch singles by them. All right, I'm starting to mumble. Government issue, what got stabbed? Does this have a, when I bought it? Yep, 9883. Discord. Fletcher! Classic DC compilation. Teen Idols, Untouchable, State of Alert, Minor Threat, Youth Brigade, Void, Artificial Peace, who we played with in East Hampton. It's a great record. Misfits, Walk Among Us. Misfits, Earth AD. Am I going too fast? Can you see the records? Not too much glare. Necros. So play with these guys at the Anthrax in uh, Connecticut in like 83, 4, something like that. Love that band. It's all in um, awesome too. Negative Approach, Tied Down. Your Mistake. Classic band, great record. This is a really good record from Boston. Um, this is Boston on LA, Jerry's Kids, Gangrene, The Freeze, FU's, Proletariat, Groinoids. Wow, really good. Um, this is another one of these records I bought when I was a kid. I'm like, oh my God, this stuff is just, it was great record after great record. It's really cool. Um, the Freeze are touring. It's 2015. The Freeze are touring Europe now, I think, too. Pretty cool. FU's Kill for Christ. Um, classic band. We got artwork by Pusshead before he started doing uh, Metallica covers. Record covers, drawing, painting. My America FU's. SSD Control. Classic um, Boston record. This was on Discord label. Exclaim and Discord. Huh, interesting. Um, unfortunately, I had this stored in house somewhere. And mice starting started eating it. That would piss off Al, wouldn't it? Or Jamie. Or Springer. Look at that. Little bastards eating my record. 
Um, this record, they, let's see the date on here, SSD, July 17th, 1982, in my 12 year old, 14 year old chicken scratch, purchased at Main Street Records for $5.29. Unfortunately, the mice bit into it, they liked it too. Damn. SSD Control, How We Rock. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I got a cold, my nose is running. SSD, Get It Away. That's a great cover. That looks almost like a pus head cover too, but it must be. I don't know. Proletariat. Great underrated Boston band. Ah, Outpatients versus the Stupids. Classic Western Mass Hardcore. Can I say that? Because I was in the band. Outpatients? I don't know. Yes, I can. It's good. It's a good record. Uh, for some reason, there's only pictures of Outpatients on the back here. Um, let's see. The Stupids had Slime of the Sleaze, Black Jello, Media Blitz. Cool. Our patients had Push Button War for our Zombie Time. It was on Mindless Records from Italy. Cool compilation. And of course, got to put the uh, the Our Patients. Um, this is kind of sort of our crossover, pretty metal record we put out, recorded in '86, '87, came out in '88, I think, just before we moved to New York City and joined the School of Violence, because our drummer had left at the time. Viz had some great songs on here. Good songwriter. Toxic Reasons, Independence. Another Toxic Reasons record. Willful Neglect. Neglect records. Uh, Tesco V's Dutch Hercules EP. This was a really funny record. Uh, if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Classic. Tesco V wrote me a couple letters back in the day when I would order records. War. What is this called? War of the Superplex. Tesco V, Lyle Presser, Byron Baker. Classic. Dead Milkman. I don't even remember that record as much. COC, Corrosion Conformity. We played these guys many times. Bad Brains, Rock for Light, Coptic Times. Wow, this is a great record. Good band. Some people say one of the best hardcore bands ever. Uh, this one's by the Cro-Mags, Best Wishes. Great band, too. Millions of Dead Cops. Saw these uh, guys in... Amherst, Massachusetts, a long time ago. This Dead Kennedys record, I guess, I don't know if this is a rare one, it's orange, they usually come, they usually it's a black cover. Um, these guys were, despite, you know, some people, I don't know, some people don't like it, some people love them. Um, East Bay Ray was a great, is a great guitar player. Uh, he almost had like surfy reverb on his guitar and like jazzy punk riffs. Uh, yeah, definitely influence on my guitar playing, I think. This is a classic record. Another classic record. Uh, Religious Vomit, Moral Majority, and God We Trust. Dead Kennedys. Let Them Eat Jelly Beans. Bad Brains have the song Pay to Come on here. Amazing version. HR is so quick, fast. Black Flag Police Story. DOA, The Prisoner, The Prisoner. That's a classic compilation. Ah, then we get into <laughs> the Plasmatics, Metal Priestess. This is probably the more classic Plasmatics record. Richie Stotts, and they're in the pool with a car. And unfortunately, sadly, Wendy's not around anymore. But um, New Hope for the Wretched or a Wretched. That's the classic record. Eater, Lou Barlow turned me on to this band. A uh, really good British band. Of course, what punk rock collection is. Yeah, you gotta have Sex Pistols in there. Um, let's see when I bought this. Ah, oh, it's got that clear Warner Brothers thing. That's the problem. So I don't know when I bought this, but it was pretty early on, probably 1980. Some product, Carry On Sex Pistols. Kind of weird, Hotel Chase, Chelsea. Weird Sex Pistols compilation. Ah, oh, here's another Agent Orange record. Um, Miser Lou, they did that. That was a classic version of that. Uh, then it kind of gets into like more like new wavy kind of stuff like split ends. Remember those guys? I probably bought this probably yeah because they had that song I got you. I like it. It's a good, it's a good song. I like a good pop song sometimes. Buzzcocks, specials. Remember them? Yeah. Adam and the Ants. Another one of the first records I bought. You see, it says. Purchased 1981, April 22nd, for $2.99. I got this in Boston. I can't remember the name of the place. Uh, I got a lot of shit for liking this record when I was a kid. Oh, it's not punk enough. I thought it was really good. I still think it's really good. Uh, the arrangements, the cool double drumming on there. Big influence. Um, and I just think it was kind of fun, cool song. It seemed different than original. Compared to what I was hearing be before this, up until then, I got this record. Wow. So, if you don't like it, fuck. 
Uh, Robin Gristle, Hamburger Lady. Front 242, I don't even remember what that is. Probably industrial, oh, it's Wax Tracks, okay. Devo, Are We Not Men. Uh, probably one of the first punk records, right? The Stooges, I don't know. This is a great record. 1969, I Want to Be Your Dog. Uh, I'll get into some compilations here. Uh, I bought a lot of punk rock compilations back then. Let's see when I bought this. Punk and Destroying Main Street Records, Northampton, Mass, July 2nd, 1982, for $4.95. That's a lot of good music for $4.95 because it had Vice Squad, The Addicts, Disorder, Peter and the Test Tube Babies, Red Alert, Blitz, Dead Kennedys, Brace of Wheels, GBH. So that was worth it. Rodney on the Rock. There's two of these records. Um, definitely really cool records. Um, very inspiring. I, I was a kid when I got these, so just like, oh my god, you know, Social Distortion, 1945. That's worth the record right there. This one has Black Flag, Circle Jerks, The Nuns. Uh, yeah, very cool. This next record compilation is from the movie The Decline of the Western Civilization. I just heard an interview with her with Mark Marin too. Um, and this movie blew my mind. Lou Barlow's dad took me and uh, Lou to see this movie in Amherst, Mass. And Alice Bag Band's in it, Black Flag, Fear. Remember leaving, kicking people off stage. And Alice Bag screaming about gluttony. Um, she has a new record coming out this year, 2015, I think, too. But um, this blew my mind and probably changed my life. Just seeing the people talk about you know punk rock and these bands playing. It was just amazing. Amazing. Uh, another compilation, Hill Comes to Your House, 45 Grave, Christian Death, a little bit more of the goth kind of stuff, goth punk. Somebody Get Their Head Kicked In by Better Youth Organization. Um, that looks like a puss head cover too, right? How come I'm like, yeah, it is, of course. Battalion of Saints, Adolescence. Maximal Rock and Roll, If Punk Is Dead, What The Hell Is This? Good question. Not So Quiet on the Western Front. You see that there? Bands that could be God. I had two bands. I was in two bands on this record. Uh, Deep Wound had Time to Stand and You're False. And Outpatient had Light Blue and Fight. Um, other great bands on here. Moving tar Targets. Um, Sorry. Beanbag. Busted Statues. Salem 66. Classic Boston record that Gerard put out. 84. Oh my God. Deep Wound. This is, a, this is much later. This came out probably in... I don't know, 1999, 2002. That's all the old uh, classic demos and stuff. This is a great record if you can find it. Well, if I say so myself. Land of Lost, The Freeze, awesome band. Dresden, classic Connecticut band. Verbal Assault, great band. The Farts, World for the Hate. I had the seven inch in the seven inch video, great band. Husker Du, Everything Falls Apart. Awesome. Metal Circus. This is a great record. I love the song Diane on there. Check that out. Really cool ripping guitar sound. Not quite, not metal sound, but like a still a ripping punk Zen Arcade classic double record. Let's see when I bought this record. See what it says. Probably won't say. Maybe it will. I might start to eat this too, the little mother. Husker Du, 1984. Flip side, outpatients were on this. Um, I think it was Bill Bartell, late, late great Bill Bartell, put us on this record. Uh, outpatients, Backward Explosion. This came out in 1984. Flip side, Vinyl Fancy, Volume Two, another great punk compilation from the early 80s. Um, I joined this band when I moved from Massachusetts to New York City in 1988. This band's called School of Violence. It was a great kind of crossover punk metal type band. I wasn't on this record. I joined right as they were going to start touring or as soon as this record came out. Did, we did some other re recordings, but they never came out. Um, Seg's a great guy. It was fun playing this band. Viz from the Outpatients played in this band too for a while. Um, and that, I think, is it. Do I have anything else here? Yeah, it ends there. Let's see. Yep. So, that is the 12-inch uh, vinyl punk rock show and tell video number two. Um, number two, number two. That's a different thing, isn't it? Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hope it was fun to watch. Ah, 
I don't know. These are great records, and I just like doing talking about them and doing it much. There's so many records I can't really get into each one. Um, maybe the next one I'll do is about this band. This is a piece of this piece of paper is from a, a T-shirt that uh, my brother was making in high school. This is probably like 35 years old. Um, yeah, I should do one of all Motorhead records because that was a great band and one of those bands that just bridged the gap between punk and metal, and it was awesome. Thanks for watching. See you.